So let's compare Intel's Core i3-6100 with its big brother i3-6320. Both of them belonging to the Skylake processors launched in the third quarter of 2015. The basic difference is the base clock frequency which is 200 megahertz higher for 6320 which represents about 5% uh, of uh, improvement and the more important thing is the cache improvement which is 3 MB versus 4 MB which is close to like 25% uh, so in between these two you can expect a For improvement sure. of uh, about 7-8% uh, performance and that comes at a price difference of uh, $40 which is close to like 20% uh, or so um, uh, uh, no, even more like 30, 30, 30, 35% and given that it, the performance improvement is only uh, slight and the price is substantially big you actually uh, expect to get more value with uh, i3-6110, 6100 uh, provided you are not doing something like programming or running compiling a lot of programs and things like that in your daily works or i3-6100 should be good enough if you are using even for your for your gaming you can add a recent uh, invest more in a graphics card rather than in the processor to get more value so that's so that's my thought both of them are 65 watt processor in terms of integrated graphics not the external graphics card uh, they are the same intel ht graphics 530 that's decent for medium level game playing but if you are looking for a full resolution gaming you might want to add some external graphics card the integrated graphics performance should be about the same uh, 1.05 gigahertz versus 1.15 gigahertz not a great difference just about a 10% uh, of the difference uh, slight uh, improvement in smoothness but nothing substantial so this is what the uh, two processors are uh, I hope that helps you and we don't have a um, benchmark as of now it's not uh, available this processor when I make this video but when it launches I will try to benchmark this and come up with a benchmarking video and give you a link in the description section that you can check out thanks for taking a look